Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, why has your person been giving you the silent treatment? Now, this reading is not for all of you Scorpios. This is only for those of you who have been dealing with someone who hasn't been communicating with you, or if you're dealing with someone who hasn't been responding to your text messages or calls, then this reading is going to be for you. I'm going to see why, ha why have they been giving you the silent treatment and will they be communicating with you in the near future? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see. why has this person not been communicating with you why have they been giving you the silent treatment first card we have is the five of cups okay so the five of cups is a card of like sadness depression um someone kind of playing the victim it could be sometimes let's see what else we have the eight of wands Eight of Wands is a card of communication, and it's upright, so they've definitely been wanting to communicate with you, even if they haven't. Um, the desire has been there. And we have the Fool in reverse. Yeah, so the Fool in reverse is definitely them holding back from um, communicating. Let me see what else comes up. The Knight of Swords in reverse, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So I do think that this is someone who feels like they messed up with you in some way. I feel like they're a little bit kind of scared or intimidated to, to reach out to you and to communicate with you. They feel a little bit like um, ashamed, I feel, about something or guilty. And I feel like this, this page of swords is looking at the nine of cups. So I feel like this person is wondering if you are happier without them. And I think this idea of you being happier without them that they're thinking, um, that they're thinking about. I feel like that's what has them um, holding back from communicating. Yeah, because I do feel like this is someone who might have it in their mind that you don't really care that you're not really affected and that you're you know you're happy and you're doing fine that you you don't really need them so this person has 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 been holding back because they feel like you're going to reject them tell me about the page of swords spirit we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, and we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So I definitely see that this is someone who wants to uh, reestablish a relationship with you. It's something that they think about. Tell me about the Five of Cups spirit. We have the Magician in reverse, and we have the High Priestess in reverse. So with the High Priestess in reverse, some sort of secret might have come out, come up to the surface, 
or some sort of um, revelation might have come up to the surface, some sort of truth um, exposed. And because of that, this person feels like they don't really have a chance with you anymore. Yeah, they feel like they don't have a chance and they feel like um, they might feel like you've seen something about them that is not pleasant, that's not good about them. And they might feel like there's no point in reaching out. They feel like you're most likely going to reject them. Or, you know, not want, not want to deal with them anymore. What's the Knight of Swords in Reverse Spirit? We have the Five of Wands and the Six of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, the Five of Wands is an energy of conflict, so... I do feel like this is someone who prefers to avoid any possible conflict or drama or argument for some of you. And yeah, that's why they're holding back also. They feel like they feel like they might stir up some conflict if they were to um you know pop pop back up into the picture. What's the Nine of Cups? I do feel like this is someone also who's scared to confront something, confront some kind of truth here. What's the Nine of Cups, Spirit? The Page of Wands and the Sun card. Yeah, so they definitely want to communicate with you. This is someone who feels a lot of passion for you, a lot of attraction for you. Um, they do see you as their wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. What's the Eight of Wands spirit? Temperance and the Ten of Pentacles. What's the Fool? Seven of Cups and the World in Reverse. For some of you, this person is not sure if you've already moved on. Um, I do see an energy of spying here for some of you. For some of you, they're watching you or keeping tabs on you. Um, and I feel like they're trying to figure out or they they want to know if you're if you've moved on if you're with somebody else let me look at the bottom of the deck the hermit card is at the bottom some of you are dealing with a virgo Yeah, some sort of injustice was done with the Justice card and the Three of Swords could be a third party situation. Some sort of injustice was done. This person feels like they have to redeem themselves with you. They feel like they need to make it up to you in some way. Or like they feel like that's that's what would be required if they were to um, reach out to you. They feel like they would need to um, say something to you, say something to you, or apologize to you to kind of redeem themselves. Because I do see that there's an energy of them feeling um, regretful or guilty. And I do see that this person wants to recover 
um, st stability with you. Tell me about the Hermit card. Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. They also feel like <clears throat> they also feel like there's a lot that they have to make up for. For some reason, they they feel like there's a lot they have to make up for, and it kind of intimidates them also. All right, let's move on and let's take a look at will they be communicating in the near future or not. I would also I would also like to see how do you feel about this, Scorpio? Actually, let me use another deck to take a look at um, how do you feel about this. How does Scorpio currently feel about this person? We have the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Hermit card, the Page of Wands in reverse. What's the Six of Swords about, Spirit? What's the Queen of Cups? So I think you're a little bit indecisive here, actually. With the two of wands and the three of cups in reverse. What's the hermit card? Ace of cups, yeah, you're indecisive here. Ace of cups and the two of pentacles. Some of you have a new option or new love or some, some of you are thinking about moving towards a new option or new love. Yeah, some of you are juggling here with the Two of Pentacles, whether whether you would be open to this person coming back around to you again or not. Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Some of you have just been enjoying, um, you know, enjoying your independence, enjoying your singlehood. Um, or maybe not enjoying, but, you know, like taking advantage of it. Doing a lot of self-care and a lot of, um, or practicing self-love. Some of you have um, managed to create a certain level of personal stability and personal balance for yourself. And some of you are scared to kind of disrupt the balance that you've already created for yourself. You know, by by returning back to to a past situation here, past connection or relationship. Now some of you are indecisive whether to go with one option or to go with the second option. Some of you have two options here, the past person or the new person. And for some of you, um, your options are the past person or just being alone, you know, staying alone with yourself and practicing self-love and creating self-happiness. Let's take a look at will this person be communicating with you in the near future, whoever has been giving you the silent treatment.
Okay, first card is the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this is a card of communication. Most likely the answer is no here. Six of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, the Star at the bottom, the Ten of Wands. Oh, here, here's that Ace of Cups that you had in your in your cards. So for some of you, this person will be coming back around to you, offering you an apology, you know, um, asking for a second chance, wanting to have a new beginning with you. Um, I do feel like that's something that um, is likely to happen with this person. I feel like they're going to be quiet for a little longer, but I do feel like with the star card, I feel like they're going to be inspired to reach out to you again and make you that offer. Tell me about the star. Yeah, six of cups in reverse and the page of wands. So I do see them um, making an attempt to kind of heal the situation with you, heal the relationship. And of course, then um, I see you being indecisive here in regards to whether you want to take it or not. It does feel like it's sincere. I will say that it does feel like it's genuine. I do get an energy of them feeling generally uh, guilty or feeling sorry, like genuinely sorry and wanting to, you know, wanting to do better or try to do better. Um, however, I do feel like their energy feels a little bit like um, immature or like young, a little bit young spirited. So I'm, I don't know how reliable this person is. I don't, I'm not feeling a strong energy of reliability um, in their energy. But I do sense um, genuine, like I said, a genuine apology. Okay. All right, Scorpio. I hope this helped you and I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.